Hey Daisies, and welcome back to our corner. So in today's video, we will be making an Easter basket to collect all of our eggs in the morning. Um, as you guys can tell, we have bunnies, so it's Easter. Um, yeah, so basically, the um, supplies that you'll need to be making this is like paper plates, you'll need some scissors, you'll need paper or cardstock paper um, you'll need markers and i also have some paint markers because the paint markers are really the only things that i know of like markers having and you will also need tape tape um so yeah let's get on with the video okay so first thing we will be needing is we'll be needing our um paper plates we'll be needing two paper plates um and this um being is because we'll be making it like this so it'll be turning into our basket um to me it doesn't really matter what color it is um it might matter to you but i mean mostly the color will be turned into the inside but you will see this um your color like the rim color of your um paper plates but um this will end up being the back of your um what is it called basket so it's not gonna really matter you'll just be needing to take your paper plates and make sure they're pretty decently like the same size so we're gonna cut out like a little guy who goes like that um as you can tell see we cut it like that you can cut it across you can make a pattern doesn't really matter um so yeah, I'm going to cut this. So it doesn't have to be perfect, as you guys can tell. It's definitely not perfect. So I'm just going to line them up with the rims, as you can tell. I'm lining it up. And I like I'm just going to like take tape and attach it to like so that um because I think tape fits better. Well, I mean not fits better, like keeps it intact better, like holds it better. Um, because when I glue stuff, sometimes it can fall apart and you don't want to be on your Easter hunt with families or friends or, um, something. And then your bag, I mean, your basket fall apart and then all your eggs go downhill and yeah. Yeah. So after you have finished this, you will be needing, oh, that's something I didn't mention. You'll be needing like ribbon or something. So this is like tool ribbon. But it's pretty good. This will act as the handle for our bag. So basically, um, I don't want my handle to be like this long. Not needed. I just need a handle that's about that long. And it's okay to cut like off. Like you like cut, leave more than you think you'll need because you don't want to be like oh, I need more, and then I have enough ribbon, and then you ruin it. So if you have a really long piece of ribbon, just go ahead and cut it where you think you'll need it, and I think it would be needed here. This is how long my ribbon would be-ish. And you, just, you can do, like, measurements and stuff. Where is this one? Probably use this one because this one's really long. Um, so basically, I will take the top of this, and I'm going to take, where did my scissors go? I'm going to take my scissors and kind of, like, use them to make a hole, like, two holes at the top. So, you guys can tell that I have two holes at the top of my basket. Um, they're a little crooked, but that is okay. So, I'm just going to kind of, like, twist the end so that they will fit to my hole. And then same with the other end, and then... So you kind of have a handle, but it's not done yet. You're going to tie your ends with this a little knot. That's why you're going to need more ribbon. I can't tie a knot. Um, more ribbon um, because like you'll need enough to tie your knot at the end. Kind of like that. So now that we have our handle for our bag, and the reason we did this is because we didn't want to mess up any of the design. And I made the knots toward the back so that 
um, we it wouldn't mess up our bunny design. So, you're going, this is basically your canvas. You get to do basically whatever you want. You don't have to make this a bunny. You can make it whatever you want. Um, I'm actually not going to make this into a bunny, but you can. So, I'm just going to tell you how you can make it into a bunny. Take cardstock paper or just any paper and cut ears, like ovals. And then you cut two of them because, you know, everybody has two ears. Cut them like that. As you can tell, they're ears. Um, and then you'll just tape them or glue them on to your front and then make your bunny's design. So I'm going to make a design and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay guys, so basically we left off with me just like mod podging it to keep the paint secure. Um, here's the end result. I don't know, it's not the best, but it's something. Um, yeah, um, I was going to film all in one day, but this took a lot longer than I thought. So it is the next day because I finished this like late last night and didn't feel like filming. Um, so I hope you guys um, have fun making this craft for your basket in the morning for Easter. Um, and can enjoy your Easter. Um, yeah, basically that's really all I have to say for the video. But besides that, um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and do you guys know what's next? <gasps> Turn on that post notification bell so you never miss another video. Thank you, Daisy. Bye!